This is five ghost videos that will scare the heck out of you by Nukes Top 5. Let's do this. Top 5 Ghosts Caught on Camera Ooh. A Cry for Help The Foreman Brothers, Josh, I know Sean, these guys. and Rocky from the YouTube channel Paranormal Nightmare were contacted by a mother and daughter who claimed to be living in a haunted apartment in Bucyrus, Ohio. The apartment has a dark history as two dun, dun, women dun. and a little girl tragically lost their lives inside its walls. One month after moving in, Heidi and Callie Prater begin to experience terrifying paranormal activity the in their fuck? new home. I thought that was eyes that when she's upstairs, the strong smell of sulfur often makes her feel sulfur. sick. Uh-uh. She and her mother Heidi have heard footsteps and chilling screeches in the night. They say that lights turn on and off by themselves. And that they have seen multiple unexplained shadows. I'm sorry, I really want to like give that house a makeover. It looks very sad. Steps, but <laughs> you can definitely hear certain screeches, certain noises. Since we've moved in here, we've had noises all the time upstairs. Light shut off, been touched, seen a lot of shadows. Visitors to the house have had similar haunting experiences. Ever since I've been coming over here, I get really really bad negative vibes lights have turned off on their own shadow figures walk i think that's my camera wait <laughs> that looks very similar to my camera <laughs> not gonna lie and that's what i record my ghost stuff scary. we've heard the little girl call out mommy and i never was a believer in this hate children stuff fun fact um here. we had from the looks of it she should be happy to get touched duncan don't be mean. I'll ban you for like 20 seconds. Don't be mean. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, we went on investigation. God, it was, it, we went last night. Um, it got cut short, but that's the story for another day when there aren't people home. Um, but it was up in an old church. It's okay. It's okay. Um, but it was up at an old church and um it was creepy but last week we went to a different church and i was hearing like this little kid right and um my mate's friend is a medium um so we were talking and he was saying about like how little kids aren't usually little kids like if you hear a little kid screaming or something it's like trying to call you over because you want to help the little kid like I don't personally I don't like children but you want to help the little kid um so it's trying to draw you over but then when we were like leaving it was really weird but, well we weren't even leaving we we're stood in the car park having a chat Beardy was there um if he's still in chat um and all of a sudden I just surrounded them and I was like I need to go we need to leave now we need to leave this car park um and everyone was like what the fuck because I, I I just suddenly just was not having any of it I was like we are leaving we are getting in the cars and we are going um and everyone was like why what's up what happened and I'm just like I just heard a little kid like literally the same kid I've been hearing all night like over the back end of the graveyard so you've got the front of the church the gate the car park I was hearing it all the way at the back at the other side of the graveyard um and then when we were stood in the car park I was hearing it like towards the gate and this, I heard it literally, like, at the entrance to the car park. And I was like, we are going. We are going. Something's following us. And it was, like, I think it was a little girl, but it could be a little boy. But it was, like, a little kid's voice saying, hey, come here. And I was like, we need to leave. <laughs> we need to go. I need to go change my underwear. <laughs> it was bad. It was, but... I don't like kids at the best of times, but I think my opinion on kids has gotten worse through all the like the horror films I've seen and everything. So seen it with my own eyes. Just I just really don't like being here. You wanna leave? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Heidi Prater explains that in an interview the with the Foreman Brothers how it breaks her heart sometimes to hear the unexplained voice of a little girl calling out to her mother. In the same interview, they hear something truly chilling. It breaks my heart, you know, to think this little girl. And you can hear her hollering for her mommy. 
keep hearing somebody saying mommy. She is here, and she is looking for her mommy. I thought I just heard somebody say mommy. Did you hear that? Yeah. It breaks my heart that she's still here, wandering around looking for her Spooky. mommy. Oh, it makes me want to cry. After the emotional it's like I said, though, it might not be a kid. Begin their investigation to find out exactly who or what is haunting the Prater's home. Oh, we've got more. Okay. If you're in this house, can you communicate with us? Yes. Give us a sign you're in here. Uh, oh, holy holy Did you hear that? Can you come out here with us? The mysterious sounds continue to be heard throughout their investigation, but nothing compares to what happens next. They the always say that. lives here say that they see shadows, hear footsteps, loud banging, the voice of a little girl. And this is the room that we were shooting the interviews earlier and heard the little girl yell, Mommy. Um, we believe that there you know, were, may have been victims in this room. Same voice. Little girl. Um. Oh. Um. Oh. Is this that phasmophobia game? <laughs> no, I couldn't stream phasmophobia. It was really annoying. Um, I'm hoping the new update has fixed it, but we'll try that at some point. We've tried it a few times on stream and it just it wasn't working. See, high -pitched voice of a it sounds like it could be like an audio recorder just playing back, but that's just me. I don't know. Little girl seems to be desperately calling out for help. Help me understand what happened the night of February 13th, 1994. Oh, no way. God, I hope my audio is picking this up. Been in over probably 400 haunted locations. What the fuck? Wait, hang on. What was that behind it? Was that residential wait, cases? That... And I have never. In that my might life just be me making it up. It looked like there was a little girl like behind him. Before, ever. Could this be the ghost what? of the little you girl that met her? No, I need to go back. Cases, locations. Right. Been in over. Like that's that's a fucking figure, right? Like that's not just We're probably four hundred. And that that was what I saw. It literally looked like a girl with her head bowed forward, but it might not be now that I look at it. Locations, done hundreds of. I don't know cases. that. Mm. And I have never in don't my know. life might be experienced something like this before ever. Could this be the ghost of the little girl that met her tragic end inside probably. the house? Let me know what you think. Be sure to check out the full video over on the YouTube channel, Paranormal Nightmare TV series. I've seen some of theirs before. I think Meanwhile, Nukes TikTok, has done a few of them. That's TikTok before. user Pershka recorded a quick I mean, that video didn't really sound like his own. No, that's exactly what I was TikTok. thinking. Like, but when she was about to post mommy. it, she noticed something like, not truly <laughs> chilling. <laughs> oh, God, you're trying to make a TikTok. That's why you're going wrong, love. Did you see it? Right oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I wasn't even what looking. Looks like a little girl can be seen standing right next uh -uh. to the ice machine. Fuck off. But as <laughs> Why is it always on, little kids? No. They know I hate them. <laughs> is it just a trick of the lock? Freak me out, or man. Could it be a TikTok hoax? Ow. Okay, as soon I as I sit that way, my decide. hips just protesting. TikTok user Bike Kill and his friends are exploring Ow. a creepy old abandoned tunnel. Then this happens. It's Pennywise. <laughs> Hell no. You do not stay there. You do not stay in that tunnel. You turn around and you leave. Ow, my hip. Fucking hell. I need an actual chair in this room. 
There's no one here. This is not a joke. Go! Okay, people piss me off. People piss me off. Leave. Just, just leave. I don't know, dude. Stop standing there. <laughs> what is that? Demons, clearly. Or Pennywise. You see a red balloon. Did you see a red balloon, Foxy? Okay. The fuck? That's a nope. Exactly! That is a situation where you full on nope yourself out of this. <laughs> it's the opposite of yeet. <laughs> of yeet, you get. I thought I saw something like right there. With yeet, you go towards something. <laughs> no pink, you just jump back. <laughs> People are just the worst. I know, I, d I know that I'm one to be like, oh, let's investigate more. But when it's like that, you leave. You turn around and go. Yeah. You stood there for 15 minutes listening to it. scary sound of screaming voice. No, because the worst thing is, right, even if you don't think it's anything bad, which, how can you not think that's anything bad? First of all. It's... If you don't think it's a spirit or something, or it doesn't scare you, surely you should phone the police or somebody to help. And because if you don't think it's somebody trying to lure you in, it's clearly somebody getting hurt. No, I d I don't understand the logic of some people. Um, going back is more like zoinking, where you shout zoinks and run away. <laughs> We're not running away. We're not retreating, we're advancing in the opposite direction. Voices echo through the abandoned. Oh, another thing for new time viewers. Um, <laughs> Flamesies already knows this, but when things walk towards the camera, it really freaks me out no matter what context they're in. Um, so, <laughs> just a warning, even if we're watching a funny video and something like slowly walks towards the camera, I'm tunnel. freaking out. And I can't no deal with the death the rattle. Be, and like that. that the tunnel is haunted. <laughs> What? What do you think those sounds could have been? I'm good at doing it, but I still think I should play the grudge at some point. What do people think? <laughs> Another TikTok user that goes by the name <laughs> of Julian R. Angel. Oh, there's gonna be someone behind the fucking curtain. Isn't his coworker it? caught this next video on camera while it worked. Uh, should we do a TikTok dance? Ready? <laughs> I've never done a TikTok in my life. What the fuck was that? Did you see it? Yes. A dark shadow figure <laughs> can be seen lurking in the corner of what looks to be a large banquet hall. He's like, can I join your now, TikTok? Like most TikTok clips, there is no extra mm. information about where this was filmed or what happened next. So is it real? Or is it just Okay, the only TikTok? way they could fake that is if he like ducked under the chairs after that. But that's just that's giving me strong Five Nights at Freddy's Fox. vibes. Foxy. What do you think? Chernobyl. I'm watching you. Ukrainian YouTuber Vlad Reznov and his friends do- I thought that was somebody in the background, wait. Chernobyl. <laughs> Chernobyl? I thought I literally, I was like, well, we're starting off with the ghost in the background now, aren't we? <laughs> fake. Okay, YouTuber Duncan. Vlad it's Reznov fine. His friends do a challenge for YouTube to it's probably fake. He looks like somebody I know. Exclusion zone. Now, the exclusion Wait, was this the same guy who got left in the caves by his friends? around the dangerous Chernobyl nuclear power plant. I want in to go to Chernobyl. Years, I still only see the Chernobyl diary, not the Chernobyl diaries. Is that the one that everyone loved? Um, Ukrainian tour operators. It's like Bigfoot. However, don't mess with Chernobyl. <laughs> I'm taking you at some point, Flamesies. That's it. We're going adventuring around Chernobyl. Penalties and fines. Or we just need a Geiger counter. Vlad Reznov um, and his friends want to explore at night. They are very careful to avoid Ukrainian Yeah, there's a film that I watched, and it was about Chernobyl. Until dawn. First, they explore the abandoned village, and then they decide to get some sleep in one of the old decaying buildings. First things first, I'm gonna say all the words is out my head. But that I'm out of fucking Chernobyl. <laughs> I was going quite well then, but then I fucked it. Oh, 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 o
Yüz bu tam. Alright, keep the camera steady. I want to see what the fuck that was. <laughs> like a one minute, I'm like, get the fuck out of there. The next, I'm like, keep the camera steady, Jesus. So you send your friend to the window where he can be dragged out in natural horror style. Я тут спать не буду. Будешь, потому что нам завтра отставать. Чувак, блин. Ты понимаешь, что там что-то было? Я тебе отвечаю. Я не шучу. Пиздец, он мне просто не верит. Реально, я не знаю. Я это видео дома пересмотрю, потому что я реально что-то видел. You always believe the person who says they see something. No matter what it is, you always believe them. Пиздец. Because it might be right, and it could be like a hostile situation, and then you're fucked, aren't you? I'm only saying this because I'm usually the person that sees things. <laughs> now, I can't really make out anything in the video here, but Vlad seems to be very spooked by something he saw out in the woods. Maybe something he didn't catch on camera. I don't know, like, there's like a mass behind all these twigs, but... It's hard to see because he's shaking the fucking camera so friend, much. But his fellow explorer just thinks that Vlad is playing a prank. But then, this happened. What the fuck? What the? No, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, wait a second. I thought that was like a joke at first. That was like, so, literally somebody's just like peering in at them. Be quiet, what's that gonna do? He's seen you. I would have closed the door to begin with. You ever watched? At the window, giving Vlad and his friends you ever played horror films? Their life. They decide to skip their plans to stay the night. Oh, it's the fact that it just like moves there. down to the window Vlad and then moves away. Oh, hate that. Chernobyl mutant man. Chernobyl mutant man. But <laughs> what Chernobyl what mutant man. <laughs> Could this be the ghost of someone who didn't survive the Chernobyl tragedy and is still haunting the premises? No, it's or probably like a homeless person. A really pale man trying to give them a good scare. You decide. Might be the friend. Brentwood haunting. It's a big nope. Yeah, I don't like that one. Back in the early 1900s, Chernobyl's scary, dude. Honestly. Beautiful Victorian home and I have a theory that they made that TV Carolina show just to scare people from going there. Because we're not supposed to go there. Clarence met an untimely death at the age of 40. Oh, hello there. How are you? No, see, you, you've you not had enough scary experiences in your life, Duncan. Obviously. <laughs> there were rumors that Essie was often visited by the ghost of her late husband. The Brentwood house remained in Essie's possession. Oh, Brentwood. We're doing Brentwood, are we? Nice. Today, the Brentwood home is owned by French master chef Eric Masson and his Masson. wife Kim. They reopened the estate as the Brentwood Restaurant and Wine Bistro. The skeptical new owners never really believed in the paranormal. I'm always looking for validation. You're basically it's fat shaggy. It's so hard to believe that this stuff happens, and it's hard to believe that. I don't know what to say to that, dude. <laughs> That is, until strange things started happening around their restaurant. The Masons would hear the mysterious loud sighs of a woman when no one was around. Mm. Glasses and silver I think I've seen this bit. Without explanation. Not of this video, I think it's Even been featured stranger, in a different video. The restaurant would be locked in the bathroom by something, and devices would suddenly turn on by themselves. Many of the restaurant employees the witnessed paranormal activity. And even some of the customers have scary stories of their own. Swings. Many claim to have seen a tall, dark figure in shadowy corners of the restaurant. It is believed like that the ghosts of Clarence and Essie McCorsley still haunt the Brentwood restaurant. Author Stephen Lancaster has taken a particular interest in the haunting of the Brentwood Wine Bistro. 
Over the years, he has interviewed witnesses to hear their bizarre stories and has done many investigations to find paranormal evidence. Late one night, Stephen and a small team of paranormal I was working investigators in the are checking out the restaurant. <laughs> right after they begin filming, they hear a loud bang coming from the kitchen. Um, this oh is very God. cinematic. Did you just see that? Like the Holy lighting, God. the phone, if it is a phone. Hey. I don't know. It just seems very cinematic to me. Holy cow! I think my heart just skipped like. Yeah, I've definitely seen this one. Restaurant surveillance footage shows a glass mysteriously falling on the floor as investigators Eddie and Tina enter the kitchen. Although startled by the chilling experience. They continue their investigation. Of course. In the downstairs men's room. I see you guys are going to see my friend Noodle in the newest investigation videos, and literally he is just. Um, the door is wanting to open. <laughs> he he'd see something like that and dip. Like he he'd be shut. like, nope. <laughs> Can you open that door for me? But I figured out the way to get him to actually go into these creepy places is to give him the camera and get him to be the cameraman. <laughs> really, really cool if you could open that door. Right, now show us what's, what's on either side of the door. Outside. The strange activity doesn't stop as random things continue to mysteriously fall on the floor. I mean, I completely believe it. Oh, wow, those things are slippy. I've floor. worked bars. I'm, I'm a bar worker. I, I know these things. Um, so is there hey, it's my camera again. <laughs> but no, I... Wants to say hello? A lot of bars are haunted. That's the thing. Um, Make their presence known to us? There's been a lot of evidence to suggest this one is... At the same time, well, I really would love to see the tall guy tonight. Yeah. Oh fuck the tall guy! I forgot yeah, about the tall, the tall guy. guy. Here. Uh, never mind. This place is haunted. <laughs> That's them. So, is there anybody up here that wants to say hello? Make their presence known to us. Is that someone peeking around the corner? You know what, I really would love to see the tall guy tonight. You know what freaks me out? Yeah, People creeping around here. corners. Wait, okay. Either... I'm looking at the wrong bit. See, that's what I'm looking at. I'm like, is somebody peeking around the corner? But then I realised that this sort of looks like a person hunched over. <laughs> like an alien person or something. Or maybe I'm just looking at the entirely wrong bit, because... Uh, no. <laughs> oh my god. What the f... No, that's literally, like, I've got tears in my eyes. Like, that is... That was the, the mysterious figure of a man wearing a fisherman's slicker or peacoat seems to be quietly moving in the background mm -mm. as they talk. Stephen Lancaster didn't notice the strange apparition at the time mm, mm, and only nope. discovered it later when he nope. reviewed the footage. So did Stephen and the team of paranormal investigators... They probably creamed me out more than they should have done on like the second and third viewing. It was like, oh, okay, that's not that bad. But when it was in the shadows, you fucking hell. What Stephen Lancaster's you can't see anything. Yeah, exactly. Nope, 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 exactly, Duncan. Fucking hell. That, I need to see that again. That was fucking creepy. That really got me though, because it was just slowly zooming in, and I was like, "Okay, is it that? Is it yeah, that?" And then it was something completely here. different. That's them. Yeah, that's them. Yeah, that's them. Yeah, that's them. Uh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> oh, oh I hate that. Okay. We're going back. No more investigators bit. capture the ghosts of Clarence and Essie McCorsley forever haunting their You can't home. see anything. There's actually like you can see like the edges Watch of Stephen the jacket. Lancaster's full documentary investigation of the Brentwood Wine Bistro over on his YouTube channel. Label it literally 13. looks like the shadow itself is moving. Hiding I think that's what creeps me out about it. Shadow people. That's another thing that I forgot to mention. Hernandez people should know by now I am terrified of shadow people. When he starts to hear um, strange, unexplained mostly because of coming from his bedroom. issues with uh, sleep paralysis and, and stuff like that. 
but also shadow people in my own house. So. Why have you got a sink in the corridor? Wait, is this that guy? Is this the guy I've already seen? Is it Dear David? <laughs> Anyone know Dear David? When he finds no one at the door and after a few other strange occurrences, Abiyud begins to suspect that there might be something paranormal going on in his apartment. Begins to expect. To try to collect proof to show his family and friends. Nope. <laughs> he sees a camera to record his home while he's at work. When he checks the video. Yeah, this is the guy. This is the guy I've seen. There's a, a woman sat in the corner. Um, not on this bit, but at one point he walks through um, with his camera, and there's a woman in that room sat in the corner. Um, Packing up, moving out. <laughs> I know it's not Dear David. I was asking if anybody's seen Dear David. I was making a joke, Duncan. <laughs> yeah, because it sounds like there's a woman walking around in high heels and shit. It does look like there's a bit of a shadow there, but that might just be the wind chimes. I'm not sure. Um... See, that's just annoying me because I want to put it back straightener. But yeah, there's one clip where he walks into that room and he looks around and in the mirror or something you see a woman sat and it it's creepy. We've seen it before on a live stream. Um, I don't know if they're going to show that bit again because there's not that much long left of the video. Also, I just realized that sentence made no sense. There's not that much left of the video, or there's not that long left of the video. Not there's not that much long. Cut to days later. Stop messing with my stuff. Yeah, definitely. Makes you feel as though it's fake. Yeah, there is a lot like on top of each other that keeps going on. That's why when I first watched it, I thought it was fake as well. I'm still skeptical. But there's a lot of things that he does film that's very much like difficult to fake. But a lot of it is so easy to fake. Asusta un poquito ahora sí, porque neta se escucha aquí adentro. Se escucha como la chapa, pero pues no me voy a levantarme. Se escucha aquí afuera. I thought you said it was in the or in the apartment. Like everything could be done with fishing wire. It depends. It depends. Um, there's only so far you can go with fishing wire, trust me. Um, I've seen a lot of debunking things. That was an orb. Oh, is this one with the sofa flips over? Is that this clip? Turn a light on. See, this is what annoys me with these videos. They never turn a fucking light on. It's like with horror films. Just turn a fucking light on. You'll feel much better straight away. Hello. That's my room. Abiud posted the videos on Facebook. Get out. <laughs> that he doesn't actually mind the creepy activity. He says that he just wants to share his experiences. So, is Abiud's apartment haunted by an invisible ghost, or is it all just an elaborate hoax? Oh, I didn't show the clip. Thanks for watching. You can suggest Aww, any video you see. Oh, we've seen that clip before anyway, stop. but okay, okay. Cool. They were they were they were moderate. Not not the scariest.